How to Catch a Dinosaur by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton. Tomorrow's the big science fair. I've never won before, but this year I know I cannot lose because I'm catching a dinosaur. The crocs and sharks we know today were here when the dinosaurs ruled. It makes no sense all dinos are gone. On this point, I cannot be fooled. We head straight to our local park to pick up some kind of trail. Wait, what's that thing over there? Yes, I think it's a dinosaur tail. The dino is more bird than reptile. We learned in science class, that's true. And this one left something behind. I've got our first dinosaur clue. Looks like we've got a plant eater. The Venus flytrap had no chance. She danced right past our volcano and knew the exit at first glance. This clever girl runs fast as the wind and dodged our trap in a hurry. But we've got more in store for her, so this is no time to worry. Was she watching when I tested each trap with my action figures and toy bricks? It's like she knows how each trap works. Can it be she's on to my tricks? Well, that didn't go according to plan. She slipped right past our noses. And if that isn't bad enough, I ruined my mom's prize-winning roses. We make a prehistoric playground and with lots of friends to play. Our dino won't be able to resist. This time she won't get away. Tall enough to stop a giant, our trap had, had pulleys, ropes, and decks. But this dino smashed it all to pieces. She should be called T-Rex. My mom is an engineer, so I've, got, I've learned a trick or two, three. Our robo-hugger, 9000, won't let our dino go free. That clever dino tricked our robot by dressing like a bird. Uh, if I don't catch the dinosaur soon, I'll be lucky to come in third. We didn't catch a dinosaur. I don't know what to do. But my friends remind me we still have a science fair entry or two. We did it! Better luck next time. The end.